know if you've been watching my videos I've been off sick for a couple of weeks and I've had to take a, a bit of a break from anything that involved talking because I was coughing like crazy uh, hopefully that's mostly over now I'm I'm doing quite well I can talk for a couple of hours before the voice gives out so filming is resuming I'm filming classes wall to wall but I'm trying to catch up with some YouTube videos that I did promise you guys this month I was supposed to do a collaboration set of videos on project management with Miss Vicky B and Carrie Harling. They've done both of theirs, or they've done one of theirs each. Um, I actually got to the point where I realised with project management, I don't really organise it. <laughs> I my, my main way of doing project management, I think Maddie wants to come up, come on. Come on then, come and tell them about project management Miss Maddie. Come on, come and explain. There we go. Tell them all about how you organise your projects, Miss Maddie. She says, well, I get a bone and then I chew it, Mammy. I chew it till it's gone, Mammy. She's up on the desk, a little monkey. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where was I? Yeah, project management. I don't really organise my projects. What I do is I dump all my ideas down on paper. I sift them into some sort of order. I prioritise them according to what I need to do first and what needs to be done early and what I can get away with leaving till later and then I get on with it. And I don't really, I do plan, but I don't really have a structure as such. Most of my planning consists of, one second, bullet journal lists. <laughs> this is my YouTube planning page. Um, I need to get a bit more going, um, particularly with... Yeah, it's playtime, sorry. Particularly with uh, this new Vatmos thing. I don't know if you've heard about this, but a lot of online teachers are having to keep uh, very meticulous notes about what class content they do and uh, how much student contact they have and things like that because if you don't have enough student contact you're not exempt from the VAT and oh it's just crazy. Uh, I am a qualified teacher, I do teach online classes that could be taught in a college as an evening class and I do keep meticulous notes and I'm very hands-on so I'm not particularly worried that's why I'm you know I've already spoken to a, a VAT expert and he's said that my classes are fine he couldn't see any reason why anyone would think that my classes weren't hands-on so yay no vat moss for me um i lost my train of thought sorry i got sidetracked lots going on in here today anyway need to keep better records and that's why i got the a5 hobonichi i was going to keep all my records in there however when i came to looking at it in terms of how I was going to plan my classes, how I was going to plan my YouTubes and so on. Are you done? Jolly good. I really couldn't get to grips with the layout. Uh, it does have a year, a month, a week and a day, which you would think was perfect. I thought it was perfect, but actually what I need is a week on a page, two pages, so I can see a week overview at a glance because my class projects are broken up into weeks. So with that in mind, I thought about what I needed, I looked around to see if I could find some sort of planner that I could completely customise. Now, yes, I know I can customise a file of facts, okay, I know that, but my file of facts is already bursting at the seams. I know from previous years, certainly from last year of running full year class, that there is no way I can fit it all in here. I can fit brief notes, but I can't fit it all in here, which is why I ended up with a whole other file of facts with all my projects in, and then a whole other file of facts with all my classes in, and then that got too big as well, and I had to get another file of facts. It just got ridiculous. So I thought, well, this is pointless. I'm going to keep my file of facts for my general, everyday, what I've got to do today stuff. But my overall planning, I am going to be doing in these. Yes, I have picked myself up a couple of um, planners from Personal Planner. Now, 
If you watch Miss Vicky B's videos, you'll know that she had one from personalplanner.com and uh, the girl, I can't remember her name, over on Oat Blog, she has one from Australia. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. If they're in America and Australia, and I'd seen somebody with a Canadian one as well, I wonder if they're in the UK. Ta-da! In actual fact, they're a U. So you can actually organise your planner. You've got various options on the UK site. It's actually personalplanner.co.uk. And if you go on there, you can actually customise it in all sorts of different ways. So you can have English holidays, but you can have the language in German or whatever, you know. So it's great for international students or anybody whose native language is not English um, to be able to customise it to whatever they need. Uh, there's an awful lot of people in Europe who work in London, but you know they they live elsewhere or you know they travel a lot and they need to have maps and things which you can get and and all sorts there's loads of customization i'm going to link to miss vicky b's video because yeah i don't believe in flogging a dead horse and miss vicky b did a fantastic video on the setup of the american version which is not dissimilar to the uk version the uk version basically you have the option to change the language to something different if you want to uh, I don't think that's on the US site, but, uh, you know, other than that, it's pretty much the same. There is not a massive difference. So let me show you my unboxing of the planners and then I'll come back to you. OK, so all I've done with my planners is... Guys! Oi! All I've done with my planners is to take them out of the box put the elastic bands on, you just, um, they come separate and you just push them through the back. I've clipped in the plastic uh, top opening wallets, which are just um, split along the rings and you just clip them in. And I've got these pages as well, which go with this orange one. I will tell you about those in a minute. So what drew me to Personal Planner was the customization. And a lot of people will just have customised the layout and, you know, added their fitness and things like that. I kind of really went to town with mine. Let me show you what I've done. Um, I've stuck with my colour coding. So red and pink is YouTube and social media and orange is classes. So this is a class planner. The noise in the background is the dogs kicking off again. Don't ask. Uh, so I have this ah. these both run from december december to the end of november next year so they're not 2015 they kind of overlap because december is a really busy month october and november are very busy months so what i thought was so sort of october time next year order my next one and then i can start planning you know christmas chronicles and when frog sing 2016 in the new one and in the meantime, I can use this now, which is when I'm busy. If I wait until January, I won't have anything to put in it. So, this is part of my new project management organisation system. The two things that I want to concentrate on next year are my classes and keeping my teaching records and my YouTube and getting that, as I, as I said, you know, my word of the year next year is polished and I really want to get that sorted out and organised so that I'm not just putting up random videos here, there and everywhere. I've actually got some kind of system going. So the personal planner, I'll just show you very quickly because there's loads of unboxings of these. They come with very sturdy metal rings, which are half inch, I believe. Yep. Guys! Hey, 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 hey! Take it outside, please. Half inch rings. Two and a half centimetres, for those of you who don't speak American. Uh, the front cover is nice, heavy duty, sturdy plastic. It's smooth on one side dappled on the other and it's not really frosted but because of the texture it kind of gives a frosted effect um, it's not completely clear but it's not really frosted either the ruler is frosted and you can see there's quite a difference it has one of those front and back the elastic as I said clips into 
these little holes at the back so if you wanted to you could take it off or you know I'm leaving mine on the planner itself is customizable so as you can see I chose orange on the back of this and on the front I've put my Romanese Realm logo that I use on my website and I've got class planner 2014 to 2015 then on my YouTube one I wanted to make this one a bit more fun so I went for the red elastic they didn't have orange elastic or I would have gone for orange elastic on this but it was either black or white and I thought you know with painting and stuff I'm always covered in ink and things white wasn't gonna last very long so I went with black um, this is my YouTube planner and as you can see on this one I chose photographs now I've seen a lot of people do these planners and instead of putting their own pictures on they go on like we heart it or tumblr or something and they pick these inane snaps <laughs> from you know all these arty farty hipster type snaps of you know little girls in hay fields with balloons and feet on the sand with little hearts drawn in and all that kind of stuff and I don't understand why if you're going to go to all that trouble of collaging a photo why not use your own photos so that's what I did I used this or I did this on pick monkey I chose a five by seven which fits my planner because my planner is five by seven obviously and I just chose a layout that I liked put some pictures in and you know I've got some pictures of me and Scooby up here uh, there's me and Scooby Scooby and Maddie and Scooby on his own got my big picture of me and Maddie doing selfies and then I've got some pictures of Gypsy Gypsy and Maddie and me and Gypsy and on the back I've got some more of Maddie because we all know that Maddie's the star of my YouTube channel not me um, and then this was an option on PicMonkey it looks like a bit of paper with paper clip and writing on and it's not it's it's on the picture isn't it cool so I thought that would be a bit of fun to add that on there so overall my cover for this looks like that and I much prefer that to you know just picking some random photos off the internet that you could honestly you could get those on any planner that you pick up in a dollar store why would you not customize it if you can customize it why would you not put your own photos on I don't know anyway um, I also put YouTube 2015 on here although it does run from the same as this one from December to November um, but that's I only did that because I'm doing vlogmas so I'm literally I'm starting doing YouTube videos in the next week that will be going for a whole month so I thought I might as well get December organized and have them running together alongside each other now the layout of these inside is quite different but not completely different so it won't be confusing the main layout is exactly the same for both but I've color coordinated it so my YouTube one has a red strip across the top and it says top secret that was a, a preset option on this design was a preset option on personal planner and I thought oh, that'd be cool for YouTube videos top secret that sounds fun and then on my um, my class planner I just went for an orange so if I've got these open on the desk like this straight away I can see which one is which there is no there's not going to be any difficulty telling which is which now because I work on lists in my YouTube videos um, and I need to write down lists of things like links and stuff uh, I went with these grey lines you can do all sorts of different coloured lines but I went with grey and the boxes are red Sundays and holidays are in red which I really liked that's like the Hobonichi you got the calendars are all in different colours here and those correspond to these little coloured tabs along the edge here again like the Hobonichi I love that and the main section of the planner is this is the plastic envelope it's just a plastic envelope that clips in so I've put that in there so that I can if I've got 
writing or notes or something in my file effects. I'm sorry about the jingling in the background. The dogs are having a play fight. I, I don't know. Just try and ignore it. I do. Guys, shush. Okay, they're going downstairs now. Maybe that'll be a bit quieter. So, um, yeah, this is a top opening envelope. Now, this is one of those envelopes that's going to stick to everything eventually. Um, but it does mean that I can put, um, when I've got notes from my file effects, I can shove them in here. In the front here, you've got a ruler and a bit about the company. You've got um, a, a personal message and a, you can put your own details. I've got my personal details there. I don't know why I'm bothering to cover it up. You can find it easily enough. Um, so I put my full length wallet in here because I thought I could just take things out of my file effects and shove them in there and then I don't have to rewrite things. Uh, now this plastic is one of those plastics that's going to stick to itself so you might want to be careful using that. You don't want to put it anywhere that it's going to get heat on it and you don't want to put it underneath anything heavy because it will stick together. So front page and then it goes straight into the planner. Now the, I asked for my planner to start on December the 1st but they give you a run-up week. So I've put in the videos that I was going to do for this week. If it's highlighted in pink, I've done it, it's done, it's scheduled, it's blogged, everything finished. If it's not, um, like this one is not ticked yet, it's not coloured. The box isn't coloured, so I haven't videoed, filmed it yet. And obviously that means it's not scheduled yet. I've got other notes and things here. Um, and then at the bottom I've got a to-do this week which is just for my filming schedule so uh, the ones I've filmed it says to do this week and I've put a list of my videos that I wanted to do this week I want to aim for five videos a week um, well between three and five videos a week depending on how busy I am and then you've got started and done which in my head equates to filmed and finished so filmed and then when I've edited it and uploaded it and all that stuff that's that. Then I've got idea of the week, goals and art. I just put that in there in case I'm doing things like a weekly theme or vlogmas or anything like that. This bit's blank. In hindsight, I probably could have put a grid in there for tracking things. Um, then you've got your calendar and your notes, which is standard. Over here, I've got a week on two pages, but it's in blocks. So the way I've laid it out is in blocks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, weekend. That just, it works for me. You can get all sorts of different versions. You can get just about every type of um, planner layout that you could possibly want. I chose this one because the sticky notes that I use fit in those boxes and I thought that would be useful because it means I can write things down stick them on a sticky note, put them in, and then when I decide exactly when I'm going to film it, I can move them around until I've actually decided when I'm going to schedule it for. I thought that would be a good way of doing it. So, oh, and I picked pink ruler. No particular reason, I just like the pink. Uh, now, I've seen a few people say that these rulers don't stick out far enough at the top. Um, apparently, that's because they're not supposed to go at the top, they're supposed to go at the bottom, because if you put them at the bottom, they do stick out. You can't see that because it's clear, but they do stick out and it's easy to open. If you put them at the top, they're completely flush with the page. My class one, and I haven't started using this one yet because I'm still, um, I'm too busy filming to, to have time to fill in my planner for what I've filmed. But I've set it up exactly the same way so it won't be confusing about where I'm putting things. So again, uh, when I set it up for what I'm filming, so, for instance, for this one, the title of the video, uh, the bullet points are things that I've mentioned in the video. And then I've got underneath a set of links and then any other information goes underneath. So, for instance, the giveaway, I've got that highlighted for a giveaway, um, which means I need to set up a raffle copter. So I'll set up, you know, I'll add that. In fact, I'll add that while I think about it. Giveaway. And I'll put that as a to-do thing. Set up. 
set up rafflecopter. Now, I did say that I'm not a big fan of spiral bound binders, and that's one of the reasons, actually, because it's really hard to write on across the rings. St strangely, I don't have that problem with Filofax, but with these, they they seem to drop down too far and I find it hard to write. But um, I think if I, get, if I get fed up with spiral bound, I can just chuck it in my Filofax. These two will fit easily in my Filofax. I've got a Kensington um, and they'll fit no problem at all. So this is my layout for this. And the thing that I really liked about this was the customization in terms of adding lists. Um, you can see I've got different boxes down here. I've, again, I've got idea of the week, goals and art. I thought when I could, when I was flipping through, I'd be able to write down what the theme of the week for the class was. Um, then I've got a to do this week again for filming videos and list of the week. Again, I thought I could put my video links and things in there or, you know, whatever. Uh, I intend to fill this in in the same way. Name of the video, things that are mentioned, any links, any additional information, all that kind of stuff. My notes section I will use for uh, my student lists. So any new students that sign up that week will go in there. Just so I've got a record of who signed up for what when. It continues all the way through like that. All the way through, no difference. You do get a sheet there which has a code for you and a friend. So when I reorder, assuming I reorder uh, next year, I will use my 10% off and then I will probably run a giveaway for the other 10% off so somebody else can order one. Uh, and then the back of the planners are set up not too differently but differently enough for, the, for me to show you. Now you have three sections in the back of the planner that you can set up in different ways. Um, the only annoyance I found with it was the only way to have all grid paper in one section was to choose the first one and the only way to have a calendar in it was to choose the first one. So you can either have a calendar or you can have an entire set of grid. You can't have both. That was a bit of annoy an annoyance but yeah I went with lined it doesn't really matter that much. So here's your overview again Sundays are in red, holidays are in red. So this is your colours, you've got the colour codes again, so you've got a quick reference for what colours relate to what. I love these colours, they're really bright and cheerful. Um, so I've got a 2015 on four pages and I've got 2016 on four pages. And that is the same in here. Now the difference in this one is, on these weeks, there are items in blue. Now I put those items in. When you set up your planner, you have the option to put in things like birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. You can have up to five lists, but the number of things you can have in each list is extensive. I got to 100 and I still had plenty more that I could have put in. Uh, what I've done is I've set up for each week of my class. So week one of March is planning number three. Week two of March is drawing number three. Week three of March is writing number three. And week four of March is creating number three. Then we have a holiday week. So I've put those in so I can see at a glance what is going on. And next to each one, I've got plenty of room to write in, you know, planning week, planning, for March, I don't know, maybe we'll be doing to-do lists or whatever. I can write that in, what the subject is, corresponding with this here and what our overall theme is for each week. So I can track that here and that will be really good. I can also list what things we're doing for each day if I really want to. I don't really know how I'm going to use that just yet, but I like the fact that I could split it up because I've already done my plan. I knew what weeks were going to be what, and I've got that right the way through the year. And those same things are on the Monday of each week. So in January, session one, this week is writing number one. So I can be anywhere in my planner without having to do anything at all. I can look at this, this is writing number eight, that means it's August writing session 
it, that's just really appealed to me that I could set this all up. And if I had already done my complete scheduled list, which at the time I set this up, I hadn't. I actually could have put in exactly what we were going to do each day at the top of the page. So that it was already written in and I didn't have to do it. Um, it does take a long time to set it up, but totally worth it in my opinion. So I really liked that. Now, in this planner, this is my class planner, after my two years, I put in, you've got an option to have grid and lined together. You can't just have grid, or just have lined. You can have grid and lined. Um, which, like I say, minor irritation, but, um, you know, I put it in there. I've got, so I've got some grids, got some lined paper, just handy to have somewhere to make notes. Then I put in the teacher pack and you can have it for one, two, three or four subjects. And I went for four because I'm definitely teaching two classes for December and then um, When Frogs Sing 2015. Then I've got December 2015 will be Christmas Chronicles 2015. And in between times, I may do another class in July. So I wanted plenty of space. Now, this is what these are relating to. So. Here are your teacher pages. Now at the bottom, they're colour coded for each section. So it's four subjects and you've got purple, pink, green and blue. And then the last page is just a spare one. And to go with these, you've got these, which are fold out names, which if you've ever used a school register, you'll know what these are. You write your names there and, you know, whatever information you need. And then you can put these in anywhere and you can turn this over and however where, however you want to look at it, you can see all the names and follow it across. I may or may not use these. I may just use them for tracking uh, what students are signed up for what classes or I may do a list of, um, I may grid this up and do a list of subjects for the four semesters for when frogs sing and you know mark off who's had critiques or uploaded work or whatever for each one um, basically it's so i can keep records of who's doing what in the class and how i'm interacting with the class um, for my own teaching records in each of these sections then you get let me use the pink section so you get a page of lined paper you get several of these sheets, uh, three of these sheets, which, you know, you, I could put the week numbers or I could put assignment numbers or anything. You could track anything on here. Um, you could even use this for um, tracking, you know, exercise or something like that if you wanted to, or food. It only goes up to 35 here. Um, 35 is an odd number, but that's why I put four lots in so that I can have a lot more than 35 if I want to. So you get three of those pages. Then you get these weekly pages, which are split up into twenty-five going down. And weeks going across. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and all the different weeks. Now there's something weird about the way this is printed. It goes from 30 to 40, 41 to 51. There's no week 52. And then on the next page, it goes from week two, there's no week one, through to week 12, and then from 13 to 23. So week 52, week, week one, and weeks 24 to 29 are missing. I don't know why that is, and I don't know why these are backwards. That seems very odd to me. I do wonder whether it's um, week 51 and 50, sorry, week one and 52 would be Christmas and New Year, which traditionally schools have off in this, because this is a UK setup. And it's possible that week 24 to 29 is the summer holiday, which again, most schools ha are, are off. However, 
That doesn't account for things like private tutors or colleges that don't have the same term times. So I really don't understand how this is laid out. And I've actually emailed them to ask them. I thought it'd be a good way of to actually testing their customer service in the UK to just email them and say, look, this is how it's set up. Can you please explain to me why it's set up like this? Because to me, it would have been more logical to have 1 to 13, 14 to 26 and so on through to 52. That's how I would have set it up. But, you know, maybe there's a logic to this. I don't know. I'm going to find out. It won't stop me using it because the numbers are at the top anyway. And you could always relabel it. Uh, and then you move on to the next section, which is, again, uh, page notes, three pages of these random tracking pieces um, and two pages of the weeks. And yes, all the sections for the weeks are exactly the same for this. And then right at the back, uh, you have a, a schedule because you, I asked for the teaching pack, the last page. Oh, sorry. You've got this last section here, which, you know, I don't know what that's for. You could use it for um, period tracking, say, or lunch rotors or whatever. You know, loads of different uses for this stuff. And then at the back, you've got a timetable which runs from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., which is pretty good for a, a school planner um, because most teachers don't work 9 till 3. They, they ch tend to work from 8 till at least 5.30 and sometimes later. Um, and I like the fact that the times are on both sides. And it's just a Monday to Friday because it's a teaching schedule which is awkward for me because I teach at weekends as well, but, you know, I don't have a teaching timetable as such, so that won't be too much of a problem. So that's my three sessions, and obviously I've got these, which I can put wherever I want to in my planner. I haven't put them into my planner yet because I think they're not meant to be taken in and out because they're, not, they're just paper, um, and once you put them in, they're quite hard to get out without tearing. So I haven't put them in until I decide where I want them to go. So that's my teaching planner. Let's put it that way and then the rings won't, the bits won't get damaged. 